Okay, so let's try a different exercise. We're going to make him jump. So if we select all of his controls, and let's just delete all of these, and we're going to do the same thing we did in the, in, the, in, in the previous one where we did the wave, but we're going to go a little bit deeper now. So think of it this way. You want to you wanna make a character jump, right? So why don't you just jump and see how it feels? You're going to notice things that you do. So for example, you're going to notice that before you jump, let's say you're in a rested state like this. Right? So we put his arms down. And let's just give him an expression so he doesn't look look, you know, completely unaware of what's going on. And let's just make his mouth a little bit happier. You can even close close it a bit. And just make it look like a little smile. Just think of it like drawing. The only thing is that instead of drawing, you can move things around. And this is how a lot of 2D puppets are as well anyway. So it's pretty easy nowadays to animate um, in 2D. So this is your equivalent. So let's grab everything. Again, select controls, shift, middle mouse, S. And then on frame 10, we're going to do the same thing. Put another key there. And then on frame, I don't know, 25, we'll put a key there. So we're going to make him jump in between here, right? So it takes him one second to jump. So the first thing I'm going to do is we want to make him go down before he goes up, right? So let's say he starts to go down around here, and then on frame 10, he'll be on the down side of it, right? So let's put a key here. We'll go to our frame 10, and let's make him go down. Right, and depending on how your pose looks like when you were trying the jump, you should you should have a feeling for how you think it's gonna look, and we can even give his expression some purpose here. You can maybe move his mouth in a bit, and you can drop his whole face down, and I'm gonna select all of the keys and hit S. So feel free to pause this video as you're following along. He goes down, right? And then I want to hold him down here for a while before he does the jump. Because when you jump, don't you see how it takes you a while at the bottom to just gain some momentum, get get some energy, and you know the before the jump. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna select all of the keys, and since I hit S here, I'm gonna take the controls from here and I'm going to put them to frame 15. So how do we do that? Because if we move, you're going to see he's moving already. If you hold down uh, middle mouse and then drag, you can see no nothing's changing on my character. It's because I've taken this pose and if I put it on frame 15, let go of middle mouse, then hit S, it stays there. Okay, so that's a, that's a little little trick that you guys could do. Now, you see how it's not smooth because we're hitting the edge. It just hits the edge and it doesn't it doesn't keep going. It goes bang, stops there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make him move a little bit more just so that it keeps that smoothness in the, mo in, in the motion. And make his arms go up a little bit more. And there we have this. You see that? You see how he kind of comes to, sl to stop slowly? This is what we call slow in and slow out in animation, right? So we're going to now do a slow out from here because we're going to make him jump, right? So before we do the slow out, let's just create the jump. So let's go to frame 20 and it's going to grab him, make him go here, take his arm, do that. And then we can grab his feet. This is our jump pose, right? You can even change his face. Make it happy. You want to make his eyes happy. 
you can select both at the same time. So if you hold shift and you select another control, you're picking them both, or you can just drag do that. And we're just going to make them both happy. Right? So if you remember middle mouse to do this. Now, if this is our jump pose, hit S, and it's going to go from here. We want a slow out. Right? So what we're going to do, I'm going to grab the middle mouse, do the same thing we did in the previous, and I'm just going to take it. See, it doesn't change now. From 15, we go to 17. And let's start to make him go up. Right? And as he's going up, obviously the arms will start to come down, because that's what happens when you jump. And I'll select everything and hit S. Let's bring this back down a bit, actually. It's moving a bit too fast, you notice? Look at that. You see how it moves too fast? Let's keep it a little bit down here. Yeah, that's better. See the smooth out? And then this is where we can make him go faster. Okay? Because it feels like he's flying, right? We want to make him go faster. So what we can do is we can bring this one closer. So if you hold shift, click on the key, it turns red. And then using middle mouse, you can just pull it back. Okay, so he jumps. We can fix things later, and I'll, I'll, sh I'll explain what they are. But let's say we want him to stay in the air for a little bit before he j kind of, because you see how he kind of just softly lands back down? We want to make it like a real jump, so let's take 19. So we've selected all the keys, take 19, push it forward a couple of frames, and let's make him go, because you see how he goes up, and then he hits that really hard? We want to make him go smoothly, so we'll just push him up a bit. That's so like he's now easing in to this pose. This is, what, this is what the easing in and out is, right? So now he's jumping. You see that? And then as he starts to come down, we want to ease out from this pose. So he's he's eased in here. We're going to ease him out before he lands back down. So let's say maybe around frame 24. Let's just select. Whee, he's jumping, and as we start to land, let's just take this, keep him up there for a while before he lands, and select everything. Now if you drag, you want to move some keys around, so if you hold shift and we drag, you see how it created now, we have 23 and 25 in there, so we can just take that out and pull it out for another frame to get more time in the air. And I'm just going to position his arms so that they follow along, so they don't just seem to be doing a thing on their own. He's doing this, and then he lands. Right. So if we play this back, see that? Very simple. Now let's add a couple of things to it to make it even more fun. Okay.